Imagine that you are a waiter in a cafe. You go up to a customer and ask, would you like coffee or tea? And the customer said, no. Congratulations, you've just been rejected. Hi everyone, Leon here. Welcome back to my channel. What you've just seen is a very common scenario, but that doesn't stop the service staff from approaching customers, does it? Well, you may say that this is different, but how different is it? A rejection is still a rejection. The same rejection can affect different people to varying degrees. And I'm going to review why in this very first tip and how you can deal with it. One of the reasons why we fear rejection comes from the basic human need for love and connection. We need to feel that we belong. And being rejected feels like we don't belong. We are not loved and we are not worthy. And we fill our minds with all kinds of negative stories. But is this the truth or are you taking it too personally? Most people will take the rejection too personally. When this happens, we are shifting the focus from the object or event to ourselves. For example, you are thinking of giving your crush a bouquet of flowers for her birthday. Now, the outcome is she either accepts or rejects the bouquet, not you. If she rejects, it could be that she don't like flowers at all, or she may be allergic to flowers. But what people tend to do is to fill themselves up with the meanings they give to her rejection. And it could be something like, I think she don't like me. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna do this again. Oh gosh, it's so embarrassing. So don't take the rejection too personally. But of course, there's still the possibility that she's rejecting both you and the flowers. So here's tip two to help you out. Which one of these are you more fearful of? Rejection or regret? I fear rejection probably more than you can imagine, but I fear regret even more. And whenever I'm faced with the fear of rejection, I'll ask myself, would I regret it if I don't do it? If the answer is yes, then I'll do it even if I'm fearful of it. But if the answer is no, then it probably doesn't matter much anyway. So be careful of the questions you ask yourself because the questions are the answers. When you ask better questions, you get better answers. When you ask lousy questions, you get lousy answers. Rejection is a myth. It doesn't really exist. It's just a concept we hold in our minds. Now think about this. If you ask your crush out for a dinner date and she said no, did the situation in your life change? I mean, you don't have anyone to go dinner with before you ask her out. And you don't have anyone to go dinner with after you ask her out. The situation does not change at all. It didn't get worse. It only gets worse if you start to tell yourself things like, I knew it. She wouldn't be interested in me. Why would I even have the thought that she would go on a date with me? I'm just not good enough. But the truth is this. You never have anything to lose by asking. In fact, you will have possible gains by doing so. So, by all means, ask. Rejection is a natural part of life. We will face it in our school, our work, our relationships, and many more. The fear is real, but if you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't take a step forward, you will always be in the same place. And if you don't go after what you want, you will never get it. And if you want to create the relationship you've always wanted, check out these two videos for some useful tips. Live and love passionately.